in. G'day. Welcome to the G Spot, and I'm Big G. We've hit 1,000 subscribers. I am so stoked. I never expected to get more than maybe five. Um, and then I, once we hit 500, I thought, let's go for 1,000. Unbelievably, we hit that 1,000 today. So I'm just so happy. So I've got a monster mailbag today. Let's get into it. Oh, sorry for the camera. I bought a new camera that does take excellent videos and pictures, but at the distance I'm using here, it will not autofocus. So I lost a whole mailbag video because it was full of shit. Okay, what do we got here? Well, let's get them all out on the desk if we can. I'm only going to put electronic stuff out. Oh. If I can, no, I know what that is. That's not electronics. That kind of is. That's not. By the way, um, I'm sort of sorting, yep, that's it, this parcel out as I go and taking out the non-electronic items. If you'd like to see everything I order, for example, these stickers, then, uh, yeah, leave me a note in the comments. So, let's see what we've got. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a um, whole saw bit. If I can get the bugger open, which is always hard with my stupid dodgy hands, but now what's this got to do with electronics? Well, actually, I've got a project which I'm not willing, not ready to announce yet. And I need to drill and modify the uh, board I'm using. So this is a, um, I think from memory it's a 10 mil uh, hole saw, might be 12, not sure. Um, well, when I get to the product listing, we'll see. Yeah, it, f it feels weighty and it's pretty good. Here's a tip. If you're drilling plastic, uh, especially thin plastic or anything really thin using these, run your drill in reverse. You'll get a clean hole, believe it or not.
more on drilling again for the same project these are various size drill bits with built-in countersink um, again the project's going to need some countersunk screws and comes with an allen key you can adjust the collar for the length that you want to do they feel pretty good too actually put that over there now this is either a DH11 or a DH22 not sure which yet but again when we get to the product page you'll see it um, what this is I should have put the rubbish bin in easy reach this is a temperature and humidity sensor it's breadboard friendly um, so that can plug straight into the breadboard and another project I've got on the list of videos to do is I'm going to build uh, what will we call it an air quality measuring station um, so it'll be giving be able to give me when it's finished uh, temperature relative humidity um, it will have sensors for carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide detection it will detect UV rays um, uh, pollutants in the air all sorts of things I won't bother getting into too much detail yet so we'll put So we'll put that aside. What is oh dear? This is a kit. I'm not going to get it out because there's parts everywhere in there, but I will show you the product description, and this will be a video in itself eventually if I can get my soldering quick enough to make a video because my hands which are rooted it's not easy what have we got here oh these are newer versions of PIR sensors for those not familiar with them, PIR stands for Passive Infrared. I've got ooh, three of them. And essentially they detect movement. You know, if you've got lights that detect movement and come on at home, it will have one of these types of things in it. Again, breadboard friendly. And, and these are, I don't know, probably a third of the size of standard ones and again for um, pro various projects put those up there now what do we got here all sorts of stuff in there A bag within a bag. Oh, speaking of the air quality project, these, oh, there we go, are a bunch of gas sensors. Now I'm not going to open them all, but each detects a different thing. I will get one open. Now these are known as the 
if I recall correctly, the MC series of gas sensors. And this is, oh, come on, pretty much what they all look like. But as I say, everyone senses a different gas. Um, so that'll be my first big video project. I'm going to put them all back in here before I lose the things. Because sometimes I'm a moron. Actually, my memory's erratic due to the brain tumours. So. Oh, and on that front, I've had a couple of people sending me messages wishing me luck. I've um, heard from the hospital. I have to do a couple of video conferences, answer a bunch of questions. And then if that goes well, I've got a bunch of blood tests to do. And then I'll get on the waiting list. Um, so at this stage, it won't be this month. I'm expecting early March sometime. And I'll either survive it or I won't. I'm, I mean, been through it. This will be my third brain tumour removal, so... It's a bit old hat, really. And I'm not being dismissive of those that are going through it. It's a terrible thing, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Now, another video I'll be doing soon is a breadboard comparison. So these are from a particular seller in uh, on Timu. And these are 400 tie point breadboards. So in the video comparison, I'll be, I won't open that one. I'll be pulling a few breadboards apart, showing you exactly how they work. Um, yes. Um, and in theory, these can clip together. However, more often than not, the backing's sticking out too far like that one is, and you can't get it in, so I'll trim that off. And same again for the comparisons. This is a standard MB102 um, I think 800 tie point breadboard. There's two of those. And again, they'll be for the reviews. I'll mark the seller. And I, I've got to tell you, 9 out of 10 breadboards you buy on online or from anywhere are shit. Even if you go to um, known brands. Now, what was it I got recently? Um, oh, I bought an Elegoo breadboard and I actually bought it to see if it was as bad as people say it is. And mine was. It was terrible. I threw it out. Um, oh, no, I didn't. I tell a lie. I've put it aside for uh, the comparison. It's in my, I don't know what to do with it yet, bin. Or as my dad used to call it, the Jesus bin. Oh, well, his was the Jesus tin. He says, yeah, things that, there's things that have been in there since Jesus was a boy. Now, this wasn't in this mailbag, but I'll show you anyway. Come here. This is a, a cute and very cheap little kit that I bought to assemble for the amusement of my granddaughter. She uh, came to visit me the other day. Oh, in fact, everyone's been visiting me before I potentially croak. And, oh, bloody pins are stuck through the plastic. Okay. 
I'm not going to get that out. That's just a coin cell battery holder. So, yeah, there's your little Beetle PCV. And yeah, it's a double-sided board. So that's going to mean it's very easy to solder, but very hard to get out if I stuff something up. And it will have... Oh, where's its head? That one. So it has, let's just spread these out so you can get the idea. Two little you know, they they become the eyes. And it has a an LDR. A light dependent resistor so it will only come on uh, I guess when it's dark and there's the only other things in the package are three resistors blue ones I can't can never read those and I've got perfect color vision as part of my trade many years ago I had to hand mix printing inks by hand and by eye so, you know, I, I was one of the top-rated colour test people around, so I know my colour's good. And I have done the tests oh, a year or two ago to see if the tumour had affected my eyes, even though they, all, they told me that the type of tumours and where I get them, it won't affect my vision. My vision is going, but... It's because I'm getting old. <sighs> okay, so we'll put that away. I apologise for the length of this video, but I have got... I might break it into two. But I've got mail coming out my bum. Oh, I know what this one is. This is for my aquarium hobby, my fish keeping hobby. So at this stage I've no plans to do videos on that. But as I said, if you're interested in that sort of stuff uh, or that hobby, leave me a comment and maybe I'll start including them or doing separate ones. Jesus, I just showed my address. What a friggin' idiot I'd be. Oh well, I can usually take that out in the editing process. I have no idea what this is. Oh, huh. I would say another Timu package. Okay, this again, this is aquarium related. Oh shit, I ordered two of those. Um, this is a mask for the animatronics stuff I'm working on, which I'll make videos about. But basically, because I'm a, a weirdo when you walk into my office, all these skulls and masks and things are going to start talking to you and growling and you know, carrying on in general. Oh, what is this? God, I hate it when they get jammed in the bags. Come on, really? I need to put foam over pins, polystyrene or something, so they don't do that. The pins end up getting damaged. Yep, pins through the plastic. Be right, and come out, you bastard. Okay, there we go. Um.
Let me get my magnifier. Excuse me. This is, I'm pretty sure this is either a buck or a boost converter. Let's turn it around. Oh no, what? No, I don't think this one is. Let's see, what's on the back? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, yeah, what's that? Minus a negative. Chinese doesn't help me at all. I think this is actually a um, relay module so I can use low voltage to switch on high voltage stuff like you know 240 volts that sort of thing. I can't quite remember why I ordered that because 240 is not something I really want to play with. I've been electrocuted once when I was a kid, I found an old lamp in the shed. Thought it'd be a good idea to turn it on. It had no plug, so I cut the plug and wire off another one and I was twisting them together, which is dangerous and stupid anyway. And my little brother, who was a few years younger than me, thought I said turn it on, and he did. And... Uh, he was old enough, thankfully, to realise I was being electrocuted and never thought to turn it off, but he ran in and got mum and she came out and disconnected it and my hands were really burnt. I had pretty much burnt most of the skin off my palms and fingers on both hands. Uh, it took a bloody long time to heal. I don't remember how much now, but I've never played with that sort of stuff since. Okay, is this a buck? This is either a buck or a boost converter with that digital display. Uh, when I do the product page, we'll see what it is. No idea. Mm. Oh. As I said, I've ordered buck and boost converters. Not sure which is which, but this is either the buck or the boost. There we go. Oh no. I tell a lot. Maybe it is. I don't know. Don't see why it would have a relay on it though. But I don't know what this is say. We will, we'll see when we get to the, the product listings, but pretty sure this is all Timu. Ah, huh. This is a multi USB charger. It supposedly can handle 3.1 amps on each of the ports. However, I doubt that simultaneously, but that's something we will test and in a video. What have we got here? Ah, 
this one at least is clearly labelled. This is a DC to DC step up module or commonly known as a, um, a booster module. So I can't remember the specs on but you can usually put 5 volts in and get up to 30 volts out. Um, I'd imagine there's a fair bit of current loss but uh, tell you what, it's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah. We will see. Actually, we don't need that back in the bag. What else is in here? Ah, that's just elastic. That's for my... Um, Playing around with the masks. What is this one? Looks like I went on a module spree. Oh, this is another. Um, I won't open it. Same as the other one. This is another step up voltage converter. Lucky last. Check out the fake certification. Um, I'll get around it showing you how you can tell they're fake because the um, the genuine certification is has very specific rules about the angles in the symbol and the fonts and all sorts of things. This appears to be another relay module okay we'll keep going and decide later whether we're going to